What should the Cowboys do now that Mike Zimmer is their new defensive coordinator? I'll talk about that more in this video. But before I do, don't forget to hit the like button. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow Boss Cowboy Sports on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and now X. You can also follow me, the OC100, on X. So, it appears through reports that Mike Zimmer is the new defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. That's fantastic news in my opinion because he is the best man for the job. Having previous experience with the Cowboys organization, having head coaching experience with the Vikings, having extensive defensive back and also defensive coordinator experience uh, around the league. And so, happy that Mike will be the man. The question is, what should the Cowboys do from here? And I'll get to that in a second, but first, I wanna to describe to you the nuts and the bolts and what is a Mike Zimmer's defense? That's the question of the day. What is a Mike Zimmer's defense? What does he like to do? Well, the good news is this, he likes to run a 4-3. And he likes to run an aggressive style 4-3 defense. If you look back at his days with Minnesota, even with the Bengals and beyond, you saw an aggressive 4-3 style defense. But you always had, I'll share this with you, a couple of good pass rushers. So that's number one. In his best defenses, let me say that. And you always had at least one guy in the middle of that defense that could take care of business. Think back to Geno Atkins. If you follow lineman play with the Cincinnati Bengals, he had Geno Atkins. Geno Atkins was the man for several years in the league, and he was dominant in the middle. He also always had a couple of physical linebackers, all right? A couple of physical linebackers, all right? So just keep that in mind. So, and if you look at a Mike Zimmer defense, he likes to play press man. Yes, he does. He likes to play press man. And so, look, you'll normally have a cover two or a cover three of some sort, but he does not have a problem pressing up those corners and making it extremely difficult, hopefully for the receivers, the key receivers anyway, to get off of the line of scrimmage. And in passing situations, he'll often go to a 4-2-5, all right? 425, all right? So what, what, what is that? Well, it's four down linemen, it's two linebackers, and it's five defensive cornerbacks, all right, or nickelbacks in, in that scenario, all right? So that's what he likes to do in the passing situations here. And he doesn't do it often, but look, Mike Zimmer is a guy that will blitz you. In particular, he will bury his blitzes, but one of his favorite blitzes, if you look back at Mike Zimmer and what he likes to do, he loves the double A gap blitz. And the double A gap blitz, and I can tell you this from an offensive line perspective, it's extremely hard to block because what it demands you to do, A, you're going to have an up back, okay? You got to have an up back or a back running up to block the extra man in the A gap, especially if you have a traditional four down lineman set, all right? Or you're going to have to slide protect, okay? Now, slide protection is good, but what does slide protection do in essence, right? It normally leaves one man on the outside free, all right, if the alignments are correct. And so what you have, you have a man free if they're bringing additional pressure, or you end up getting one of their better pass rushers one-on-one -on -one with a back or a tight end, which he's going to get to that quarterback much quickly. So in essence, I'm going to mess up your play and or I'm going to dictate where you throw the football. I'm going to make you throw the football what we call hot or make you throw the football very quickly. As soon as you catch it, you're throwing a football, which is very easy for me to predict that and for me to have the appropriate setup and defense to make sure tackles underneath or on short routes or in the flats if you play that way. So Mike Zimmer is an aggressive play caller. The, the beautiful thing about him and his defensive fronts, the thing that he strives for once he has good pieces is this, 
is he strives for discipline. He likes people that play that plays gap integrity that does not make assignment mistakes so he is one of those type of coaches that he actually hates assignment mistakes and he has been seen to berate players and to get onto players if they are making fundamental mistakes this is great accountability for the cowboys and his bunches of defenses these guys are normally aggressive these guys are normally mean these guys normally have a little bit of chip on their shoulder and so that is what you get in a Mike Zimmer defense. Now, what do the Cowboys need to do from here to make this defense effective and to help this defense be all that it needs to be? The Cowboys have to make some moves. We need a dominant one technique. And it, and, and listen, the, the odds that you get it in the draft are slim just because these guys don't have the physical maturity, most of them, okay, coming into the NFL, they need time to develop. You need to be very aggressive in free agency and getting somebody that has some life and some tread left in a tackle on the tire. I'm not talking about a guy that has one or two decent years left. I'm talking about a guy in the middle of his career that can come in and contribute for four or five years to the Cowboys. You need that type of player for this defense to work. All right, A number one, sure up the A gaps with a dominant defensive tackle, okay? Our nose guard, to be more specific, a guy, a big guy, a guy that's, that weighs more than 320 pounds. Number two, you need linebacker help. And you don't need any type of linebacker help you don't need pretty guys that don't like to tackle. You need a rough and tough, true to the bone Mike linebacker. You need a guy that likes to run through the A-gap, and even if he doesn't make the tackle, he just likes to hit people. You need a true ball hawking, physical, like to hit, waking out of bed type of linebacker that's smart and that can lead the defense, all right? That's what you need, okay, if you're going to make this defense great, okay? So that's what you need, all right? Number three, you need another pass rusher. That's right, I said it. We don't have enough effective down lineman pass rushers that have put up big numbers for us to be a dominant defense. You need bookends. That means you need two. You need a guy on each side of that line that can go for 10 sacks. Now, you know, some some may argue we have guys like that in the building, but we but we don't play them, right? Because, you know, we have, you know, uh, the phenomenon that Boss Cowboy came up with, a bastards versus son phenomenon, okay? W which, which does have merit. However, however you slice this cake, you need another guy opposite of Michael Parsons that can effectively put pressure on the quarterback and that can get you around, I would say, or over double-digit sacks. That's what you need. And that will allow Mike Zimmer to dial up the blisses, to keep the pressure, to keep press man going to make this thing very, very effective because press does not work if you cannot get pressure on the quarterback. Doesn't work. Because what happens is, is that you get beat for big plays or you get beat on, on quarterback scrambles. You get beat late in coverage because no corner, however good he is, they can't cover forever. So the key to this is you need a guy that can stop the run in the middle of that defense. Linebacker, defensive tackle, you need another pass rusher that can help equal out the pass rushing opportunities on both sides of this because Another key element of a Mike Zimmer defense is this. He coaches stop the run first in terms of mentality. That's what he coaches. So the Cowboys, look for the Cowboys to play extremely nasty and aggressive, but the Cowboys got to make some moves. The Cowboys actually have to do less to help Mike Zimmer than what they did to try to help Dan Quinn. They have to do less. So the Cowboys are willing to make three to four key moves here. This can actually be a defense uh, that can be pretty formidable um, uh, coming this next this next season. So you guys let me know what you think about this. But Mike Zimmer is in the building. He's the new DC, and I'm glad about it. He's going to help this team grow. He's going to help us get toughness, intensity, 
and bring an intangible element of discipline and focus and hard work that we need in this building desperately. I think that he's the right man for the job. Y'all let me know what you think in the thoughts below. Uh, but that's it, man. Don't forget to follow Boss Cowboy Sports on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me, the OC100, uh, on Twitter or X. And until next time, see you.